Today I have the distinct pleasure of speaking with Wajid Bubu from Guyani Metals. You just changed your name, Manganese, just made an announcement, or seven new licenses. Tell us more about these. Well, these seven licenses are very important because we believe that they are on the perimeter of a very distinct geological area and they contain very high grade manganese. Everybody out there, I don't know if you know what the market looks like for manganese, but tell us more. What's happening with manganese market right now, Wajid? Well, the manganese market is predominantly a steel play and uh, ferro-alloy and uh, non-ferro-alloy uh, play, but uh, we are specialized in a very small uh, part of the market, which caters to uh, the battery industry, and generally speaking, it's called the chemical part of the manganese market, and that's what we're focusing on right now. Of course, we love batteries at Investor Intel, and some of you may not be familiar with Guyani Metals. Can you tell us, just kind of give us an overview about what, who is Guyani Metals? Well, Guyani is a company that started out as a gold exploration uh, company, and that was years ago, the, hence the, the old name Guyani uh, Gold. And now, with the new focus, about a year ago, we decided to shift our business and focus on an exponentially growing market, which is the lithium-ion rechargeable battery market, and that's what we're focusing on right now. I noticed you're uh, quite a substantial uh, professional in your own career. Can I ask how they got you to become the president? Well, it's a long story, but the short version of it is that I was uh, an investor. So I started out as an investor in Guyani. I believed in the vision and, and the strategy of the company, and most importantly, I believe in the leadership uh, of Dwayne Parnham, our chairman and CEO, who has achieved uh, almost $1 billion uh, above, actually, $1 billion uh, worth of shareholder uh, value. So that's what attracted me to the company as an investor. And then throughout my uh, conversations with the people in charge of the, in charge of the company, uh, mainly uh, Dwayne uh, Parnham, uh, we got to know each other and we got to learn uh, how we can leverage each other's uh, uh, skill sets and uh, we kind of clicked and it well uh, went on from there. Well, I as an investor love knowing when management has skin in the game, but speaking of management, we saw an appointment with someone we're big fans of here at Investor Intel, Dr. Ian Flint. Can you tell us what he'll be doing for Guyani Metals? We are very excited to have Dr. Ian Flint on board with us and I'm sure your uh, viewers uh, know Dr. Flint from uh, previous appearances on the show. Uh, he's a renowned expert in, in the uh, metallurgical uh, field uh, in Canada and mo most importantly he's been focusing on battery grade metals for the past uh, few years. So. We believe he adds a tremendous value to our team and he will uh, guide our decision-making process when it comes to getting to the right uh, level of grade and properties that are required for the battery industry. So we're very excited to be working with Dr. Flint. So we've just had a name change, uh, seven new licenses, Dr. Flint has joined your team. What should we anticipate in the next couple of quarters? Well, the company is working on uh, multiple fronts at the same time. So we, we have a process, we have a plan, we are executing systematically. Right now we're uh, completing our uh, regional mapping and uh, sampling program. Uh, it's going to be followed by a drill program based on the data that we get from the, the initial phase. And we're also talking to uh, equipment manufacturers and trying to uh, estimate uh, what would it take to get this uh, project online into production. We're also talking to uh, multiple uh, potential partners for joint venture agreement, uh, whether to develop the, the existing uh, properties or additional properties that we have in the pipeline. Well, we really appreciate you coming down today. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you.